Good morning, everybody. Uh, today in this video, we're going to talk about making some ham loaf. Uh, here we have some uh, pork butts, and we're going to bone those out and cut them up and get some uh, pork for the ham loaves. Um, and you say, okay, what is a ham loaf? Well, think meat loaf, only made with ham and ground pork, instead of the classic mix of ground beef, pork, and veal. Ham loaf is thought to have originated with the Pennsylvania Dutch, the German-speaking immigrants who settled in and around Lancaster County in Pennsylvania in the 18th and 19th centuries. Ham loaf is a baked meat dish, similar to meatloaf, made of ground ham, ground pork, and it combined with ingredients to form a loaf-like shape, including eggs, milk, often evaporated, and some type of filling ingredient like breadcrumbs or cracker crumbs are used to form the loaf. Uh, distinct in color and taste from meatloaf, ham loaf is often baked with a sweet glaze, often consisting of brown sugar, molasses, pineapples, or cherries. Here in Pennsylvania, ham loaf is sometimes served with a sauce consisting of vinegar, mustard, and brown sugar. And that is what we're gonna be making today. Attributed as a traditional Pennsylvania Dutch cuisine, ham loaf is eaten throughout Pennsylvania, Ohio, Kentucky, Indiana, and many other Midwest states, and is often served on special occasions, including Easter. Now that we got our pork and our ham chunked up, we're gonna go ahead and run it once through the grinder. This will give a good blended consistency throughout the mixture. Once we get it all run through, we're gonna go ahead and dump the mixture back into the grinder, and then we're gonna, one by one, add our ingredients in there to get our mixture thoroughly blended together. First, we'll add some brown sugar, then some breadcrumbs, As we start to get that to mix and blend together a little bit, we'll go ahead and add our eggs. And next we'll go ahead and add our milk. By running a little bit of the ham loaf out of the grinder to start with, it gets all the dry spots that wasn't thoroughly mixed. And we'll take this little bit and we'll throw it back in the grinder and mix it up some more so that all of it gets blended together. Once it's thoroughly mixed, we'll go ahead and run it out into these little foil pans. And that technically there is your ham loaf. Now that we've finished with our, our loaves, it's time to make the glaze. First we'll get our brown sugar. Then we'll go ahead and add our dry mustard. And then we'll top it off with a little bit of vinegar to break down the uh, sugar and to help blend the mustard into the sugar. Now that we've added all our ingredients, it's time to mix it up. Once the glaze is completely mixed up and there's no chunks in it, we're going to go ahead and take this glaze and we're going to top the ham loaves. All right, now that we have all our hams uh, in their foil pans um, and our glaze is 
blended pretty well. We'll go ahead and take it and we'll top each ham loaf with the sweet glaze. And again, that's just a little bit of brown sugar, vinegar, and some dry mustard. And that's what they typically like here in the town where I'm from in Sheffield, Pennsylvania. And we thank you for spending a few minutes with us in our shop and showing you how to make a traditional Dutch ham loaf. If you've never tried it, I suggest uh, find some place that sells it and uh, give it a whirl. Now that they're completely topped, we'll go ahead and package them up and then we'll put them in the freezer for future purchases. If you would like to see more of this type of uh, recipes and, and uh, cutting ideas, and follow us here on this channel and we'll bring more to you. Thank you and have a good day.